We're here on a very special, fascinating place. That's the new storage facility of the Porsche Museum. Porsche history is so rich in tradition, and it's a so huge variety. It's motorsports, it's, uh, it's stories behind the cars, and each car that you see here behind me is telling a different story. <laughs> to maintain the Porsche history is not only our mission, it's our obligation. Porsche does not, to have, does not to have invent stories. We have a good history since more than 60 years. And each single car here on display or in the storage hall um, is presenting a part, a single part of this rich history. And it's, uh, it's a big, big mission to keep it and to, to take care of this history. And uh, yeah, of course, and I can promise you that each of these single cars, we, we will bring it back into running condition. We want to we want not only display it, we want to use it and bring yeah, the heritage uh, into all markets and into all countries of the world. Here we store our museum's collection, more than 500 cars, and for me that's a magnificent place because here you can feel, you can see, you can smell the Porsche heritage of the last eight decades. So it makes it a very special place for me as a Porsche historian. Our collection is always good for some surprises and uh, it just recently happened that we found a car we almost forgot about. It's a 924 world record car. This car was inspired in the early 70s by the Mercedes-Benz world record car C111 diesel. Porsche had the idea to create a world record version of an, out of a 924 which should participate on, on world records about 5,000 miles, 10,000 miles. And so they've made an very highly aerodynamic version of the 924 with a turbocharged and intercooled engine. This was in 1976. But then Porsche realized that Mercedes was working on a successor, the C112, and uh, then they stopped the project because they were not sure if it would be successful at the end. And this, that's the reason why this car was never used for world records. Besides a lot of interesting cars that we bring in today, um, there's a very special one, it's a 928 convertible. It's just a one of a kind. This car is made as a prototype, but if you look at this car, you can easily put it into a showroom all over the world because it looks like a car of today. And in my opinion, it's, it's one of the most fascinating prototypes the Porsche ever built. Today it's stored here, but I'm sure that we will bring it over to the static display into the Porsche Museum a few meters away from this facility. We have many cars here which, which were not uh, on public in the last uh, three decades. Cars like a, a Type 984, the Porsche Junior here. This was a kind of predecessor of the Boxster from 1984-1985. We also have a very special 906 here. It's an, Honor Villa hill climb race car. And this car is untouched for the last yeah, nearly 50 years. And uh, yeah, you can see that it has uh, some little damages on it, but the car is absolutely original. The 906 hill climb car was specially made for hill climbs, which means that the wheelbase is shorter. It was a lightweight concept. The European hill climb championship was very important for Porsche in the second half of the 60s. And uh, Porsche was able to win this championship three times in a row. Recently, 
we, we discovered a 908 race car, a famous Targa Florio race car that is in a very good shape. So after pulling it out and a little bit refurbishment, we recognized that it's a, it's a pure Targa Florio race car, a 908, that was not on display in the museum before. So the next thing that we do is we bring it into a good shape, we bring the engine back into running condition and then this car will be displayed prior to the Targa Florio race this year in October uh, to, yeah, to show that we are participating there with the 908. In the early 1970s there was an oil crisis and uh, for that reason Porsche was working on new concepts of automobility. And uh, one project of Porsche Engineering inspired by the German Ministry of Transport was the idea of having a long-term concept car. The result was the study FLA from 1973. It's a really an unusual car and uh, with this car Porsche was demonstrating how cars could be built which last for 20 or 30 years. highlight car that is uh, being brought in today is a 996, a 911, uh, which is completely bulletproof. And in particular, this is so interesting for me because I worked for Mercedes a long time, and normally Mercedes claimed that they built bulletproof cars, you know. And uh, this was, uh, yeah, in the, in the last years of Porsche, uh, it, Porsche tried to, to, to do bulletproof cars, which is very, very unusual. And the car looks like a complete uh, regular 996, but it's, it weighs, I, I think, around three tons. And it's, it, but this bulletproof car, I have to drive. And it's my personal favorite for, for the today's entry of museum cars. You never know, perhaps you need it. Okay. <laughs>